Okay, in this tutorial, I want to make you get familiar with your hardware setup. Um, I'm assuming you have a microphone or an instrument plugged into your audio interface. Let's take a look at this Focusrite 2i2, I think. Um, so what happens is you have two inputs, right? I guess the 2i stands for two inputs and then two outputs. So you have two inputs. Uh, there's an qu a quarter inch and XLR you know, connection here. Um, you would probably use the XLR, which has these three little pin connections um, from your cable. And you gain it yourself, right? You adjust this knob right here, which essentially means how much, how much am I going to amplify my incoming signal? Keep in mind, this is basically your main... Uh, source of actually defining how loud you are on the server later simply because JackTrip again doesn't have a graphical user interface so you might have to you know adjust it on your own and it works it's pretty straightforward I'd say um, make sure it's set to instrument instead of line line usually refers to an already amplified signal maybe from your you know your your CD player that you plug in in there but um, you want to make sure to set it to instrument or mic and gain it correctly and I also want to um, hint you towards this option of monitoring. I would keep direct monitoring off. What it means is essentially you you output to your headphones in real time what you're you know saying into the microphone, um, which sometimes has its advantages. But we can also do that in Jack uh, in, in the Jack connections window later, and um, I would prefer to keep that off so we can get more familiar with the software side. So this is where you plug in your headphones and you have a little headphone amplifier. Again, I would say don't use the, the big knob for the rear uh, outputs because we prefer headphones over loudspeakers. I just real quick want to show you my setup right here. I have the Tascam 2X2 uh, audio interface, which looks like this. And I also have my input, which is my microphone with an XLR cable. Uh, I have a second input too, and I'm gaining it all the way because uh, this microphone needs quite a bit of amplification. Now, this one is the monitoring section I told you about. This one actually allows me to say how much do I simply want from the computer output and how much do I want from my microphone inputs. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that on computer, and then here I can adjust my headphone volumes. And again, my headphones are connected to this headphone output. Lastly, I want to point you towards checking that your Ethernet connection is working. So this part right here, um, you have hopefully plugged in your Ethernet connection by now. What I would do is I would go here and say turn Wi-Fi off, um, and then go to I don't know Google.com to just make sure your internet is still working. So my Wi-Fi is still on, but that's just because I don't have a Ethernet connection set up right now. If you click on this little magnifying glass and then type in network, like I already did, you can open up your network settings and see your current connection. So as you can see, I am actually still connected to Wi-Fi, but one of your Ethernet connections will maybe pop up down here and you would verify that, you know, there is a connection that is not Wi-Fi, not wireless. Okay, so now that that's set up, let's go to the next section where I'll explain to you how to install the software components.